This video is on reflections, translations, and rotations of geometric figures. You're probably familiar with the term reflection. Take a look at these pictures. You see the watch that's reflected on the table. You see the monkey's face in the mirror, it's reflection. And you see the word reflection reflected. Now in terms of geometry, we have the figure on the left, A, B, C, D in red, and over to its right, we have A, B, C, D, and that is a reflection of the first figure. It's on the right side of which axis? The Y axis. So it is the reflection of the first figure across the Y axis. Now looking at our original figure, we now see its reflection across the x-axis. So figure A, B, C, D in blue is a reflection of figure A, B, C, D in red across the x-axis. A reflection is a flip or a transformation in which the figure is reflected in a line, which we call the line of reflection. And in the first case, it's the line of reflection is the y-axis, and over to the right, you see the reflection is across the x-axis. It is the mirror image of the original figure. So now we're looking at the reflection across the y-axis and you notice that the original point A is at negative 4, 7 and its reflection is at 4, 7. Point B, its original location is negative 7, 7 and its reflection is at 7, 7. So to reflect a figure across the y-axis you're going to locate each xy point at the negative x, y point. Let's take a look at what that means. So our original point A is at negative 4, 7. Our reflection is at 4, 7. So what we did is we took the negative of the original x coordinate value, which was negative 4. Negative negative 4 is positive 4. And we leave the y coordinate the same, which is at 7. We would do that with each one of the original points A, B, C, and D. Again, we're looking at the reflection of the image on the left across the y-axis. If you were to fold this uh, paper that you see in front of you here along the y-axis where you see the dotted line, the two figures would actually line up with each other. Point D would be over point D, C over point C, A over A, and B over B. If you fold it in half, they would literally line up with each other. Now we're looking at the same original figure, and this time it's being reflected over the x-axis. Notice that point A of the original figure is at negative 4, 7, and its reflection point is at negative 4, negative 7. Point B's original location is negative 7, 7, and its reflected uh, point B location is negative 7, negative 7. To reflect a figure across the x-axis, locate each xy point at x, negative y. And just like before, if you were to fold this along the x-axis, where the dotted line is, the two figures would literally line up with each other. The reflection is a mirror image of the original. So let's review the main points about reflection. It is a flip of the figure across the line of reflection, either the x-axis or the y-axis. The original figure and its reflection are identical. 
the original xy points become reflection points x negative y for reflection across the x-axis and negative xy for reflection across the y-axis. Now we will learn about translations of figures. In a translation, every point of the figure moves in the same direction. A translation that is positive, AB, moves the figure up and to the right. A translation that is negative, negative A, negative B, moves the figure down and to the left. Think of a translation as the figure sliding over, up, and down, whichever direction. Okay, so it's a sliding where, remember, a reflection is actually a flip. Translation is going to be a slide. So let's look at a couple of examples. Here you see figure A, B, C, and D. And that whole figure has been slid to the right and up a little bit. So if, in this case, the translation is A equals 3, B equals 1, I'm going to take each point of the original figure... A, B, C, and D. I take A at negative 4, 7 from its original figure, and I'm going to add A to X and B to, to Y. So if I add 3 to negative 4, I get negative 1. I add B, which is 1, to Y, which is 7, and I get 8. So the new coordinates for the A translated uh, point is going to be at negative 1, 8. Do the same thing with B. Its original B location is at negative 7, 7. If I add 3 to negative 7, I get negative 4. I add 1 to 7, and I get 8. The new location of point B is going to be negative 4, 8. Do the same thing with C, the same thing with D. So each point X, Y is now going to be in a new location, which is X plus A and Y plus B. If I said to translate angle CAB where A is negative 4 and B is negative 2, what would this look like? Remember, the original figure and the translated image are identical. So here I look at point A, and I see that point A is originally at uh, 1, 0. So 1 is the x-coordinate, 0 is the y-coordinate. So if I take negative 4 and add it to 1, I get negative 3. Negative 2 added to 0 is negative 2. So the new location for point A is going to be negative 3, negative 2. My original point B is at 2, 4. So 2 being the x-coordinate, I add negative 4. That makes my new x-coordinate negative 2. And my y-coordinate original is 4. I add negative 2, and I'm going to also get 2. So B is going to be located at location negative 2, 2. And do the same thing with point C. And you see that CAB has been translated. The last thing we'll learn about is rotations. In a rotation, a rotation is a turn or a transformation in which a figure is rotated about a point called the center of rotation. Usually that point is the origin 0, 0. The original figure and the rotated image are identical. Now the number of degrees rotated is the angle of rotation. And here's where it gets a little tricky, but if you write it down, it's not that difficult to, to follow. If the original image is going to be rotated 90 degrees, then the points on that original image, the xy coordinates, you are now going to change them to be the negative of the y and then x. So notice that that's not in the same order anymore. Your new x coordinate is going to actually be the negative y of your original. And your y coordinate is going to be your original x coordinate. See how that works? Now to rotate 180 degrees, your original x, y coordinate points will be at negative x, negative y. And to rotate 270 degrees, your original xy coordinates will be y 
and comma negative x. So again, that's going to take your original y coordinate and it's going to make it your new x coordinate. And then you're going to take your the negative of your original x coordinate and that becomes your new y coordinate. Let's look at some examples. So here we have figure ACB or ABC, however you want to look at it. And you see the location of the original three points. If I want to do 180 degree rotation, remember I'm going to take the negative of the original X coordinate and the negative of the original Y coordinate. So let's look at point A, originally located at negative 7, 3. I'm going to take the negative of the x coordinate, which a negative of negative 7 is positive 7, and I'm going to take the negative of the original y coordinate of that point, so negative of 3 is negative 3. So my new a coordinate is going to be located at 7, negative 3. If you look at the b point, its original location is negative 4, 7. I'm going to take the negative of x of the original x coordinate, a negative of negative 4 is positive 4, and I'm going to take the negative of the original y uh, coordinate, a negative of 7 is going to be negative 7. So what you see is it's going to be located, b is going to be located at 4, negative 7. And then the same with point c, originally located at negative 9, 6. So negative of negative 9 is going to be 9, for my new x coordinate and negative of 6 is going to be negative 6 which is my new y coordinate for point c so as you can see the blue figure is a 180 degree rotation of the original the original and the image of uh, the rotation are identical all i've done is rotate it all right that ends this very brief video on introduction to rotations, translations, and reflections. Now let's see if you can identify which is which. Enjoy the activity.